Right, so we have established this. Rumors are not just rumors. They can actually lead to something. And today we're going to talk about Ralani going to UK's Chiefs. Because we talked about this thing and we ignored it. But it seems like it's there and it might just be happening. Hello and welcome to Coast Nation Fan TV. I am Ste, I am your host. This is where fans meet and talk about KZ Chiefs. Ama Kosi Football Club. Right. So we are going to talk about three things. Ndabagaralani and the thing that is related to it. So let's start with that one. Number one is U KZ Chiefs apparently are still speaking to Uralani. I do not understand. Ralani is 35, and I know we have talked about it. Chiefs is the only team that talks about how old the player is. But come on, guys, we just signed six players yesterday. Chiefs announced six players, and let's count them. The first one is Uchivabiro. Uchivabiro is 30. You have Utitlokwege, who's younger, but you also have Umodi, who's 30. You have Umtanzane, 28. You have Castillo, who's 29. So you look at all these players. Isn't our squad balanced enough already in terms of the younger players and the older players? If you are now going to add a 35-year-old, ah, ah, guys, I am not complain. But me, I'm not going to stand here and say, oh, no, each FC are doing fine. We need more experience. What experience? We have a lot of experience and depth in that position. If you are bringing in Uralani with Chiefs, Uzo Right, because that means the person who's going to be benched is definitely going to be Umtutuzim Tanzan. Tutuzim Tanzan just came. And why Umtutuzim Tanzan? We're not saying it's guaranteed to be a starter because there's Umshini, and on top of that, there's Umtu Umfana Luagango, Mungosing Pile. There's also Umat who can play in that position. Ustebe, Omatlo, all these other players. The position that has most depth, we case achieves, is the central midfield, central attacking midfield position. So now if you're going to add a player to that position, I don't know what you want, especially a player like him. Because I would like to propose an alternative. We had last night, Uguti, the player, Ukapinga, has been released by Sundowns because Mamelodi Sundowns had an option to extend the contract because he was clearly not happy with KE with the Mamelodi Sundowns and they finally decided to release him from his prison because, <laughs> because they had one year option but they didn't exercise that option. Now he's a free agent. There are talks obviously out there. There are always talks. Yoguti Pirates are, are leading the race to sign him. But we also know KZ Chiefs and how they do things. Yoguti, they keep these things under the, the, the what's this thing? Under the, the carpet and they don't bring these things out in the open. Uguti, yeah, we are actively pursuing Ukapinga. But we did hear Uguti Ukapinga was being pursued by Chiefs earlier on in the season, but then the thing ended up not materializing. Now we're in the situation where Sundowns have released him, yet the Chiefs are still chasing after Uralan. Obviously, these are rumors according to Isokala Duma, but we have already established this. Uguti, don't take those rumors and just say, yeah, they are not important. It's just rumors. It's the media because we know, we've seen Uguti, these media outlets, they're not always lying. I'm not going to say this again and again and again and again. But I would be disappointed personally. I know some of you will go to the comments and tell me Uguti, getting Uralani would be a good option. Tell me, go go tell me why Uralani is a better option than Ule City Kaping. Tell me why KZ Chiefs would go for Uralani, but they didn't go for Domingo. Because once again, he H and got Domingo did tell us Uguti, he Chiefs actually wanted to sign Domingo, but then something somewhere somehow ended up not happening, and then they did not sign Domingo. So now they didn't sign Domingo. They are not signing Ukapinga, but they are going to sign Uralani. I mean, doesn't make sense to me. Before we move on, come here, come here, come here, <laughs> come here, come here. Shay Shangan, how? Nancy Gan, so Shoni Lang, I foot. In Ganyam Gosem, Axing Ganyam Shanam, ask people to subscribe. Subscribe, Sub please. Yes, Nancy Ganning, Asana Maminas. Okay, that's my niece, not my kid. I don't have a kid. But please subscribe and like the video to help me reach more people like you. And as no man in Bonilan, she's this short. I don't think you saw her. Anyways, now let's move on to another, another. I don't know if I can call this interesting, right? Because we saw last week when the Chiefs were training and they were revealing the training kit, Ugo team. 
Ukama Pilet was there. And we had towards the end of the season, Uguti Chiefs were planning to sign Ukama Pilet. There were all these things that we were talking about. Uguti, no, there is a, a talk. So Ukama Pilet is going to get his contract renewed. But now, according to the Unplayable, if I'm not mistaken, they are reporting Uguti Kama Piliat is not with the squad as they are training in Pumalang. Huh? I understand. They are saying because the contract ended, and it ended very on Friday on the 30th. So now they are saying Ukama, they are saying there is this player. I don't know which player that is because they are saying there is a player who is saying he's not with us in training. And Ukama is not there with them, which means Kaiser Chiefs are not renewing contract tech. Obviously, people will ask Uguti, but why was he why was he with the team when they were training? Right? But then I would say it's it's not unheard of for players to train with another team and then leave. But then again, if he's leaving, why did they not already give his number to someone else? Because I would expect Uguti, Um Tanzania would have wanted to wear number 11 or Ukasti or whoever. Someone would have wanted to take 11. I'm sure Uguti, it's probably if Ngampelu Kama is leaving, it's going to be the players like Abum Tu who are going to wear number 11. But let's just talk about this, Uguti. Why would they keep him so long and then release him now? Because they didn't even release him last last week. Now the talks will be, it's probably because it chiefs right now what they want is they are negotiating with him and they have not reached the negotiations or the agreement with his contract. To which I will say, we've been here before, right? We've been here with a lot of players where we sort of want a, want the player, but we don't show that we want the player. Like Oplom, right? I'm not obviously saying Ukama will have the same impact as Ukama Piliat because Uplom Vela was a better player and had more impact on Kaiser Chiefs last season already. But if the Chiefs want to keep Upiliat, they shouldn't have done this. They should have completed and signed him a long time ago. But they haven't. They haven't extended his contract. So then the question is, why have they not finalized the deal? And if they want to release him, why have they not released him? Because it's always, to me, Uguti, if you want to do something, do it. Be decisive. Don't say, we want to come, but we will negotiate with him until halfway through June. That's when we'll find a solution. But if you want to release Ukama, release him. Man, everyone knows who would know Ukama is living in Chiefs. Or everyone knows who would know Ukama is staying in Chiefs. Because it creates this thing for fans like me to say, it feels like each of they don't show good basirias. They always take way too long. And and I know I I I, I, will, I like to address this with uh, with some of uh, with some of the faction of our fan base because the, 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 there's this thing you to one Kon Uguti is complaining too much, right? It's understandable, Uguti, this person is not grateful. They're always complaining too much. But the thing is, I'm going to email and not complain if you're not showing ambition. Because, let's take for instance in the Bayou women's team. There have been talks about teams, Uguti, a women's team, we are going to have a women's team, this and that, this and that. To this day, we haven't had a women's team. To a point, Uguti, even Sekukune have now made a plan to have a women's team. Understandably so. They are playing in CAF competitions this coming season, right? But you cannot tell me, Uguti, in South African football, the biggest brand, as we call them, in South African football, is still behind in some of the things that they do. Behind a team like Usekukun, behind a team like Iroale M. I know Celtics already had a team, but the fact that Bloemfontein Celtics, before they sold their status, had a women's team and Kaiser Chiefs didn't, it tells you a lot about where they are in terms of how they see football and their football ambitions. Each team had a, a rapid seven team, yet they didn't have a women's team. So we have Oguti, Ngatama priorities sometimes we lose them and we don't see Uguti, what should we be prioritizing? And this mindset is not just moving in terms of when we're signing players. It's moving across across board, Uguti. You see how we negotiate for players. You see how we negotiate for coaches. You see how we negotiate for all of these other things and how we do these things. I'm a contract talks at Chiefs, they happen, they break down, or they prolong for a long time. And people are going to say, oh, it's because that only happens to Chiefs. But then again, you ask yourself, why does it only happen to Chiefs? And please, because 
if Guguti achieves is targeted because they're a big team, are you telling me Guti they are just only jealous of Kaiser Chiefs as if Kaiser Chiefs is the only successful team in South African football? Let's be honest, guys. If Pirates in Abu, they might not be as successful as Kaiser Chiefs, but they are somewhat as successful as Kaiser Chiefs. Close enough. So, Masinge and Zingati Manje, only Chiefs is targeted. And why does Marisbeck United have a relationship with the Pirates and not with the Chiefs? Tina, because if we are able to do it with the Stellan Posh, Ugbane relationship, why are we not trying to do the same thing with the other teams as well? It's weird and it's confusing. So to me, I feel like we've not prioritized the things that we should be prioritizing. As such, we are finding ourselves in these positions where we have our negotiations that are supposed to last five weeks, lasting for four months. And that is making us fall behind Abu Sandownsy, falling behind Abu Pirates. What do you guys think about KZ Chiefs and everything that I've talked about in this video? Let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, remember, equals. I'll pay